Welcome to today's video where we dive into the remarkable success story of the MK Party Youth League in the recent Student Representative Council elections at the Shuane University of Technology, that is the TUT. While well, in their very first campaign, the MKYL stunned everyone by securing a total of 10 seats, a clear signal that this movement is on the rise. Floyd Chivambo, Deputy President of the Economic Freedom Fighters, who is now with the MK party, didn't hold back his excitement. In a fiery tweet, he commended the MKYL's achievement, calling it a step in the right direction and cheering on their fight for influence among students. But what does this victory really mean for student politics and the broader political landscape in South Africa? Of course, we are going to break it down in this particular video. Well, to better understand the significance of the MKYL's success, we must first look at the history of political movements within South African universities. Student representative councils have long been a battleground for influence, with organizations like the South African Students Congress, SASCO, and the Economic Freedom Fighter Student Command, traditionally dominating the scene. The MKYL, an extension of the Nkomto West Sizwe military wing that fought for liberation during apartheid, now seeks to channel that same revolutionary spirit into student politics. Though they are relatively new, their rapid rise hints at a changing tide. Guys, the results from the TUT elections are nothing short of groundbreaking. MKYL managed to win 10 seats across several campuses, despite facing strong competition from long-established parties like SASCO and the EFFSC. Here's a quick breakdown of the key results. While in the Social Gover campus, MKYL tied with SASCO, each securing three seats while EFFSC took two seats. Smaller parties took the remaining seats. The next campus happens to be RAN campus. MKYL earned two seats with SASCO and EFFSC each claiming three and Sandesmo winning one seat. What the next was the Ga Rangua campus where the MKYL secured one seat with SASCO and EFFSC taking the majority with two seats each. The next campus is the Polokwane campus where the MKYL won one seat while SASCO and EFFSC once again dominated with three seats each. The last but not the least is the Mbombela campus. The MKYL captured two seats tying with EFFSC while SASCO led with three seats. Well, these results are significant because they show that the MKYL is already a serious contender even among more established student political groups. Well, the MKYL's strategy to appeal to students' desires for change and reform clearly resonated with voters. In particular, their emphasis on militant activism and radical transformation aligns with the growing frustration many young South Africans feel towards the status quo. While well, this remarkable debut in the SRC election sends a strong message, which is the MKYL is here to stay and their influence is likely to grow in the coming years. What well, their success speaks to a broader shift in student politics where younger voters are looking for fresh ideas and new leadership that reflects their own struggles and aspirations. Fletchivambo's tweet that students seem to be joining the betrayals suggests that some within the political landscape may view this as a rise, as a challenge to established order. 